Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for a baseball card stars rummage today. Got a little stack here that I ran across in the ongoing cleanup efforts in my uh, home office and hobby room here. And I uh, want to get these shown off on the channel and then sorted away in their uh, appropriate spots in their monster boxes. So I believe this is going to be all baseball. I think it's going to be mostly from the last decade or so, but maybe a couple 90s cards mixed in. And uh, as is usually the case, plenty of good shine and some parallels and things like that. So let's just get through these and we'll spend a few minutes checking out what I got in the stack. And the first one is a very nice card here. This is the 2020 Stadium Club Chrome Insert, I believe, of Rafi Devers. So every player now in the confusing world of modern top sets actually gets two, or at least a lot of the star players get two Stadium Club Chrome cards every year. Uh, they get a Chrome version of their base Stadium Club card, and then they get a base Stadium Club Chrome card, as confusing as that is. So there's uh, Devers. I believe that's the rarer of the two from 2020. Got that in a trade package long ago, uh, back in my blogging days, and never showed it here on the channel. So wanted to show that one off. Where I get it filed away with my other uh, Devers cards. He's having an amazing season. I've been showing plenty of his cards recently and uh, have more to come on the channel as well as he continues to just uh, swing the hot bat for Boston. Uh, next up, here are two favorite inserts or two inserts from a favorite insert set of the 1990s. I absolutely love this set in 1995. Uh, I'm a sucker for lenticular or 3D type cards, which have been a theme of quite a few videos on the channel recently, and these are the Sportflix Hammer Team inserts, uh, which kind of follow along with that trend. In addition to Fred McGriff, I've got Ken Griffey Jr. This is obviously my favorite of the two, but um, to me, these are a perfect example of just how kind of wild and creative card companies were with inserts back in the competitive days of the 90s, uh, when you had Tops and Donruss and Fleer and Upper Deck, uh, all sort of trying to outdo each other uh, in terms of randomness and wackiness. And uh, even though I could see somebody making a case that that's a very busy and overwhelming card as a child collector of the 90s, totally love it. Um, was happy to scoop that one up for the PC. And uh, now I've got a little run of Topps Chrome, uh, which I'm a really big fan of. I've shown tons of Topps Chrome refractors. I can't seem to help myself. I love the color. I love the set every year. And I've got a run of uh, Red Sox ones here. So this is uh, Kevin Euclid. I believe this is a 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, that's an 06, and that's just a blue refractor. Uh, I don't believe they were serial numbered back in 2006, but cool card there for the Red Sox collection. Along the same lines, I've got World Series MVP Mike Lowell on the 2009 Topps Chrome release in blue refractor. This, I believe, is serial numbered. Uh, yes, it is in the lower left there out of 199, 196 out of 199. And of course, this one's cool because Lowell did win a World Series MVP in the city of Boston. So really cool refractor there. Um, there was a period of time where I would just suck up, you know, any shiny chrome Red Sox refractor that I didn't have if the price was right. And uh, here's another example of that. John Lester, really a quality left-handed pitcher for many years uh, with the Red Sox, Cubs, and other teams. This is a blue from 2011, blue refractor, and they were numbered out of 99. You can see in the middle bottom in 2011. So the three nice blue refractor Red Sox cards there. And then uh, we've got a regular refractor from 2011 of Carl Crawford, who was uh, infamously sent to Los Angeles in kind of a steal of a deal where they were able to offload Crawford and Adrian Gonzalez at the same time to the Dodgers. Uh, but nice looking 2011 refractor there doing uh, of Carl doing what he did best, speeding around the base paths. Got an X-Fractor here of Adrian Gonzalez for about a year or two. He was my favorite player on the Red Sox in the pre-Xander Bogarts era uh, before Xander broke onto the scene and had cards to collect. But after Nomar, I kind of went through a couple different favorites. And then uh, once Xander emerged, I kind of stopped collecting Adrian Gonzalez and moved into Bogarts. And then here's the final Topps Chrome Refractor in this little run anyway. There may be others uh, in this stack, but always loved the amazing photograph on this 2012 Jacoby Ellsbury. And this is the base refractor. What an image of him smashing his way across home plate. Pretty wild. 
I don't. I think that kind of contact would be frowned upon today in uh, Major League Baseball, but nice image there anyway. Uh, next up, I've got a small little lot of these Walmart blue parallels. These were flagship tops parallels that you could only pull out of Walmart packs and blasters. Uh, they still make this parallel to this day, as far as I know, but these are from the 2013 release. So we've got Joey Votto, Adrian Beltre. I got these on Sport Lots, and I grabbed two Beltres. Um, I believe these were all available at 18 cents, which is just kind of nuts. I mean, and I'm not saying these are super valuable cards by any means, but I, I just love parallels like this. Uh, I got Max Scherzer, Freddie Freeman, and I grabbed two Freemans as well at that price point, and then a Roy Halladay, rest in peace. So some pretty nice uh, cards there of Hall of Famer or future Hall of Famers. Here's uh, another Topps Chrome. This is from Topps Chrome Update in... Uh, 2013 and it's a gold refractor of jake pv i uh, love this one because uh, pv did win its world series championship with boston as well and of course a gold refractor it's hard to go wrong with and this one has the green monster backdrop there which i love a uh, nice action shot of the ball which is just below the tops chrome logo there uh, flying in towards uh, home plate on the pitch delivery um, just a really nice card these golds are serial numbered out of 250 from Chrome Update, so a little more prevalent. Usually you think of uh, gold refractors being numbered to 50, but 250 isn't too shabby either, and I really, really like that one, so that's a nice Red Sox edition there. Keep the refractors going here. Here's a Finest Dustin Pedroia. This is not my favorite Finest set at all, but it does have nice shine to it. I think this is like 2000, uh, I can't even remember, 13 maybe, yeah, 2013 Finest. You know, it looks nice enough when the light hits it, but it's kind of plain silver without much going on. So not my favorite Pedroia card there. Um, this one's pretty cool. Keep on a little Pedroia run here. This is the Topps Chrome 1989 Topps themed kind of throwback insert from a few years ago. Great shine there. And of course, as a child of the 80s, I love seeing the 89 design, especially nice with this uh, refractor applied to the team and player banner there. In the lower right, just really classy looking card. Another Pedroia, keeping it rolling here. This is from uh, 2015 Bowman Chrome, and it's the blue refractor. So a lot of Pedroia shine today. I want to say these are numbered out of 150. Yep, 150 there in the upper left. So just another cool serial numbered PD. I have a lot of cards of his just from being a Red Sox collector over the years. Uh, next, we're going to move into a couple of 2015 Topps Chromes. I love the 2015 release and the Chrome release. I just think the design was fantastic. Uh, it's probably maybe my favorite or second favorite design of the 2010s. And this is the base Mookie Betts. It's his first base Topps Chrome card. He did have a Chrome uh, Topps Chrome Update card in 2014, his rookie year. But 2015, this was his first inclusion in the standard Topps Chrome release. So I've always been a fan of that card as a result. And then uh, this one is a refractor of Mike Napoli, World Series champion, uh, first baseman for the club. Interesting facial expression there as he goes in for the cut. So I love that 2015 chrome set. I think I have more of those that I'll be showing in the future. Uh, more Pedroia here. Boy, I got plenty of dust in, in today's video. Here's a finest blue refractor, also numbered out of 150. So not bad. Plenty of serial numbered dust in today. Then I've got this one. This was like a retail foil parallel. So this is Topps Heritage, but it's not the chrome refractors that you're normally used to seeing as, as far as shiny cards and heritage. This is a retail exclusive parallel that they did for a short time. Um, I don't think they do these anymore to my knowledge, um, but it's not actually a refractor. It's rainbow foil technology instead, which is close, but not the same thing. It's still a nice looking card and it was like dirt cheap as a lot of Pedroia stuff is now. And we got a uh, couple of, well, first we got a random uh, Dodgers card thrown in here. I don't really know how this ended up in the in the collection, but it's a Bowman Chrome Corey Seager. Might have to throw this one in my stack for Pepino Man. I don't really know any other Corey Seager collectors out there. It'd be fun to at least hear him say his name in a video. So I'll probably put that in Pepino's stack. And then uh, I've got a small little run of Mookie Betts cards here to close it out. Love me some Mookie Betts. Uh, love that he is having a big year this year. Uh, exactly as I had kind of hoped that he would. Um, and here's a nice insert 
Father's Day insert. And of course it has the Father's Day blue uniform, blue belt, blue wristbands uh, photo there. So that's pretty neat and appropriate for the time of year that we're in. Kind of neat that that one ended up in the stack. This is just an everyday insert, nothing special. Um, at the time when I picked this up, I was probably just hanging on to any Mookie Betts cards that I could get my hands on. Um, did have the advantage of being kind of early on the Betts train just because I am a Red Sox fan. And I heard a lot more about him than maybe some other parts of the country when he was coming up through the organization. Uh, from Stadium Club, here's an isometrics insert. Um, this is pretty busy, but I actually think it kind of works. And I like the overall look of this. Uh, not surprising as Stadium Club tends to be one of my favorite sets year in and year out. But like the Father's Day insert that we just saw, this is not anything you know special or valuable. Just another insert and another count uh, card counted, I should say, in the Mookie Betts collection. Here's a Future Stars insert from 2015 Topps Chrome. So this is a second year Mookie Betts. Um, all of these are refractors. There's no such thing as a non-refractor version of this card. Um, I do have the green parallel of this, numbered of 99, uh, in a PSA 9 slab, which I've shown before. Uh, but here is the just everyday base card to accompany that one. And then uh, we'll close it out here with definitely uh, the card that I was most excited to find in this stack and one that I think has become a, a semi-valuable card over time. This is from Heritage High Numbers in 2014, the Mookie Betts Heritage Rookie Card. So pick this up raw. I think I got a team set, Red Sox team set of Heritage High Numbers uh, back in 2014. And this was included in there. It looks nice and crisp. It's been in the uh, penny sleeve in one touch ever since. A uh, card that uh, maybe someday when Mookie wraps it up and finishes out his Hall of Fame career, I could see myself uh, subbing that one at some point to get slabbed up. Uh, but for now, just have that raw. Very nice bets to close out uh, today's video. And uh, that's a wrap. So a lot of Red Sox content today, but not entirely Red Sox. We did see some other stuff in there. And uh, certainly plenty of shine from the 2010s and uh, a couple of cool cards from back in the 90s as well. So I hope you enjoyed this completely random stack of cardboard. I'm going to uh, call it here and get to filing these away in the collection, but I appreciate you stopping by to check them out with me before I did so, and I'll certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care, everybody.